252,902,000 BC Permian-Triassic extinction event Godzilla is present at the impact site of an enormous meteorite, which wiped out 90% of all life. Godzilla and other titans enter hibernation for millions of years, only waking occasionally throughout history. 200 million BC – Cave Paintings of Titans 50,000 BC – The Kingdom of Atlantis was established 30,000 BC – One of the ancient era's alpha predators, the creature mankind will one day known as Godzilla, makes its presence known in the region that will one day become France, its visage painted on the walls of the Chauvet Cave by Primitive Man. 12,000 BC – Mothra Egg The humans living around China during this time come into contact with Mothra for the very first time. 11,000 BC – Mudo Prime encounters Dagon, a colony of Phoenician travelers witness a battle between two ancient titans, the Mudo Prime, known as Jinsen Mushi, referred to by the civilization as an unclean thing, and Godzilla, dubbed Dagon. And believed to be the holy son of the goddess Asherah. Between 1000 and 500 BC, ancient Greece. Titanus Typhon and Titanus Scylla appear in Greek myths. 0 to 500 AD, pre Columbian South America. Titanus Behemoth Origin. Behemoth's other name, Mapinguare, refers to an ape sloth Bigfoot like cryptid. In South American folklore with mammoth fur behemoth resembles this but with tusks and without the one eye or second mouth on his stomach that Mapinguare has so it's strongly implied that sightings of the Mapinguare in South America are sightings of behemoth which is why the locals call him Mapinguare 1100 AD a surviving Godzilla the last of its kind is witnessed in ancient Japan and his massive form is depicted on a choji gira or a scroll of frolicking animals created in the 12th century 500 to 1500 AD according to legend Methuselah destroyed a village in Munich then settled down to sleep on its wreckage where a forest grew on him and he was assumed to be a mountain 1500 to AD Godzilla makes a brief return to the surface traveling through Europe and inspiring an artistic representation of his distinctive silhouette in a hopper etching created in Augsburg, Germany. 1802 – First sightings of the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. It later came to be dubbed Titanus Leviathan by Monarch. 1915 – Albert Einstein formulates his general theory of relativity. This discovery will ultimately give rise to the splitting of the atom and the harnessing of nuclear energy as a weapon by mankind. Early 1930s, the Wanderer, a 19th century freighter, becomes shipwrecked on Skull Island. A temple to Kong, within which the story of the skull crawlers and Kong's war against them is preserved on painted rock faces, is constructed within its fractured hull, becoming a sacred place to the island's native Iwi people. 1941 December 7 Japan launches a surprise attack on the US naval base at Pearl Harbor subsequently declaring war on the United States and Great Britain drawing both nations into the Second World War 1943 USS Lawton incident the naval steamer USS Lawton comes under attack from an unknown force the ship is clawed as if by a wild animal quickly sinking and leaving only one survivor future monarch operative Bill Randa. The incident is quickly covered up by the U.S. government. 1944 – Skull Island welcomes two outsiders. During World War II, U.S. pilot Hank Marlowe and Japanese pilot Gunpei Ikare engage in aerial combat and crash land on Skull Island as a result. The two soldiers fight throughout the unknown terrain and are only stopped when they meet Kong for the first time. Amazed at what they see, the two former enemies learn to become friends as they try to stay alive in the strange land. 1945 – Between January and August Ishiro Sirizawa, son of future monarch operative Eiji Sirizawa and a leading member of the Organization of the 21st Century, is born. August 6 
Hiroshima bombing. In the aftermath of the Hiroshima bombing, Ishiro Sirizawa and his father, C.A. Shinomura, who had been awakened by the radiation with Godzilla following suit. Between August and December, Eiji Sirizawa leaves his young son Ishiro with the infant's grandparents in Kyoto, seeking a job in the ruins of post-war Japan. He eventually joins the crew of a shipping vessel. 1946 – Formation of Monarch A series of mysterious disappearances of U.S. Navy vessels, all part of the Pacific Fleet, prompts the gathering of scientists and researchers on the part of the U.S. government. Among these men are Eiji Sirizawa, Shaw, and a handful of both Japanese and American witnesses to the attack of the mysterious monster. It's this creature and others like it that are blamed for the various U.S. ship disappearances. And with proof of their existence now incontrovertible, U.S. President Harry Truman officially establishes the Monarch Unit, the first joint U.S.-Japanese unit since the end of World War II, to investigate and combat these giants. Shortly after the foundation of Monarch, the flying creature, Mudo, appears over a power plant in Novosibirsk, Russia. Sirizawa and Shaw are dispatched to interrogate witnesses. The flying monster, later designated as Shinomura for Muto, returns a short time later, striking the Philippines. After its retreat, Monarch are able to collect what they believe is a severed limb from the monster. 1947 – The flying monster again makes landfall, this time in Busselton, Australia. Sirizawa begins to wonder why the creature retreats from its attacks so quickly. 1948 – Monarch Unit 5 investigates Carmichael Caves. Site 4807, a suspected burrow site for Muto. 1948, Shinomura vs. Godzilla. The flying monster is seen again, this time on Monsta Island in the South Pacific. During interrogation, the natives claim a second monster arrived and chased the first one off, leaving giant footprints in the sand as evidence. 1949, Shinomura appears again in Rotorua, New Zealand where residents once again claim a giant lizard that stood up like a man chased the creature back into the skies. 1950 – Shinomura continues fighting Godzilla. The island of Yap receives a visit from both the flying monster and the mysterious second creature. Sirizawa becomes more and more fascinated by the second beast, while Shaw becomes dismissive of the notion of its existence. After the flying monster is yet again chased off by the second beast, this time in Guam, Sirizawa interrogates a witness who identifies the large monster as Gojira. 1952 – The Great Smog of London kills and injures several thousand people via air pollution. Monarch formulates the theory that the wings of a giant monster could have created an anti-cyclone which caused the event. 1952 – Monarch recruits William Randa. Nine years after surviving the USS Lawton incident, William Randa joins Monarch as assistant professor in cryptozoology. He spends the next 30 years trying to prove that his freak encounter was the result of a titan. 1953 – Shinomura's cell discovered in the Philippines Dr. Zamalek reveals his findings on the dismembered monster limb to Zirizawa and Shaw, stating that the severed body part isn't a limb at all but rather a single cell. Zamalek blasts the cell with a massive amount of radioactivity, increasing its size tenfold. Zamalek revels in the cell's power, stating that the flying monster is not, in fact, a single monster, but an aggregate creature, a colony of smaller, independent creatures moving and surviving as one. All this superorganism needs to regrow its entire colony from a single cell is radiation. Stunned, Sirizawa dubs the creature Shi no Mura or Shinomura, literally meaning Swarm of Death. Monarch HQ is destroyed as a result of the regenerative process, which sets free the second version of Shinomura on the world. 1954 – The First of March – Bikini Atoll Bombing Under the guise of a nuclear test, Operation Lucky Dragon officially commences. At the Bikini Atoll, the Castle Bravo nuclear device is detonated in an attempt to kill Shinomura and Godzilla, successfully killing the former while failing to do so to the latter. March 7 – Monarch creates the MUTO archive files, containing recorded data on various subjects and events, 
Survey H-54 contains information on the subject of Species 5146, aka Gojira. 1959 Monarch Sightings A Soviet spy plane takes a picture of an enormous containment facility around a Siberian ice cap, with the Monarch logo on it. 1972 James Conrad Rescue Mission before he was recruited by Monarch, James Conrad performed a daring rescue in Da Nang the prior year. As an SAS tracker, he was responsible for rescuing 12 pilots during the single mission, which is what helped further put his name on the map. 1973 Monarch's First Expedition of Skull Island There, they encountered numerous deadly wildlife, none more so than the gigantic ape known as Kong, although Kong is not the only titan out there. June 12, 1981 Ishiro Serizawa joins Monarch. Serizawa is recruited by Monarch after his father, Iji Serizawa's funeral. He agrees to join the organization and later becomes a vital part of the rest of their work moving forward. May 24, 1989 Rick Stanton joins Monarch. After spending his time with Landsat as a satellite mapping technician, Rick Stanton is recruited by Monarch to supervise their own satellite tracking systems. 1991 Titanus Rodan Monarch discovers a brand new Titan in Titanus Rodan, and they soon establish a quarantine zone around Isla de Mona's volcano, which is where Rodan lies in pyrostasis. The zone soon expands to become one of Monarch's many containment facilities, later becoming known as Outpost 56 and they watch over the fire demon for the next two plus decades. 1995 Aaron Brooks plants Antarctica trip Over 20 years after his father, Houston Brooks, met Kong, Aaron Brooks plans an expedition to Antarctica. However, his true intention is going to Skull Island to see if the giant ape is actually still a friend to humanity. August 7, 1995 Secret Trip to Skull Island in Monarch's second Skull Island expedition, Aaron Brooks recruits a cast of characters to join him on this secret mission and proves to have familiar results. They crash land on Skull Island just like the previous group, but Kong saves most of them by killing the attacking Death Jackals. July 17, 1996 Aaron Brooks remains on Skull Island. Although the trip was only supposed to last three days, Aaron Brooks and his team remained stranded on Skull Island for almost a year. Moreover, their attempts to leave resulted in major destruction of the local Iwi tribe, so Aaron decides to stay and help them rebuild. After documenting his experience with a voice recorder, he makes one final recording and sets a bag with them out to sea, hoping that his father will one day hear them. 1997 Ishiro Serizawa meets Vivian Graham. Fully integrated into Monarch, Ishiro Serizawa recruits another major member to their future during a visit to Oxford University. It's here that he meets Vivian Graham and begins to see her potential to help Monarch. January 10, 1999 Vivian Graham joins Monarch, nearly two years after first meeting Ishiro. Vivian officially joins Monarch and she doesn't have to wait long to put her skills to good use. 1999 Giant Fossil Discovered in Philippines Monarch discovers a giant animal fossil that was killed by parasitic spores after over 40 years of finding a Shinomura cell in the Philippines. Vivian Graham is sent here on her first assignment to examine the fossil and spores. There was a single spore that was dormant, which was soon moved to Yucca Mountain in Nevada for safekeeping and monitoring. However, the second and male spore already hatched and quickly set its course for the nearest source of radiation. 1999 Janjira Incident After the hatching of a male Mudo, a nuclear power plant is demolished by its frenzied feeding, killing Sandra Brody. The Mudo continues to absorb radioactive fuel for the next 15 years while cocooned in what is left of the power plant. Janjira is meanwhile established as a quarantine zone. 2005 Orca technology created Orca is a revolutionary communication device that has the potential to speak to Titans Emma and Mark Russell accidentally put themselves on Monarch's radar when they tested out the Orca The readings saw Monarch send Vivian Graham and Ishiro Serizawa to Boston under the belief that a new Titan was emerging 
but well, instead it was a piece of technology that could prove important to the MonsterVerse's future. 2005 Alan Jonah is put on Monarch's radar. Monarch also learns of Alan Jonah in 2005 when he's caught attempting to infiltrate a Mudo dig site. May 4, 2007 The Russells join Monarch officially. Two years after being introduced to Monarch, Emma and Mark officially join the organization who have high hopes for their orca technology. May 10, 2008 Eileen Chen joins Monarch. Monarch continues adding to its staff with the hire of Eileen Chen, who is a third-generation Monarch operative. An expert mythologist, Chen will make a major discovery for Monarch in the near future. 2009 Mothra Cocoon Discovered Monarch researchers find an enormous temple deep within China's Yunnan province, with a colossal cocoon inside. Monarch builds another containment facility around Mothra, which becomes Monarch Outpost 61. Monitoring Mothra becomes Emma Russell's primary responsibility. June 24, 2012 Aaron Brooks recordings found. 16 years after letting it go, Aaron Brooks' bag full of recordings about his time on Skull Island is found in the South Pacific. 2013 Ford deployed overseas. Learning to move on from the death of his mother and believing his dad to be insane, Ford Brody joins the Navy. He's deployed for 14 months to serve as an Explosive Ordnance Disposal EOD, technician. 2014 Godzilla vs. the Mudos The secret existence of giant monster is unveiled as two Mudos clash with Godzilla in San Francisco. 2014 Mark Russell leaves Monarch. In the wake of Godzilla truly showing himself to the world, Monarch begins to rethink what Orca could be capable of. Mark Russell does not agree with the direction they intend to take the device and resigns from Monarch. January 1, 2015 Diane Foster joins Monarch. A former Army Ranger, Monarch recruits Diane Foster to spearhead training of their operatives. She takes on only the best and brightest soldiers to form G Team. February 3, 2015 Monarch expands military forces. With Foster leading the charge, Jackson Barnes, Anthony Martinez, and Lauren Griffin are soon hired to join G-Team. They each possess different skills that will make them useful to Foster in the team's daring missions to come. May 11, 2015 New era of Monarch begins. Monarch hires Sam Coleman to help usher in a new era for the organization. He's tasked with helping declassify Monarch's documents and eventually begins new initiatives to further be transparent to the rest of the world. 2016 Ghidorah located in Antarctica The latest major discovery for Monarch, they discover the three-headed Ghidorah frozen in Antarctica. Vivian Graham leads the building project to create another containment facility around the biggest titan they've ever documented. This facility later comes to be known as Outpost 32. 2019 All events pertaining to Godzilla, King of the Monsters take place. King Ghidorah awakens and enslaves the Titans into decimating the Earth and its ecosystems. After a lengthy battle in Boston, he's defeated by Godzilla. 2020 Godzilla vs. Kong – The Ultimate Showdown So, that brings us to the end of our timeline. Make sure you subscribe to Factolic for more videos like these. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.